Hi, Gemini, sun, moon, or rising sign. Thanks so much for joining me today. I thought that I would do a specific uh, Mercury retrograde reading for... Okay, we have the star, the major arcana, we have the five of cups, and we have the eight of swords. So an interesting... Uh, juxtaposition of ideas, perhaps, and um, messages to to be aware of. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups, as you can see, see with this Hanson Roberts deck, sometimes the faces are really sad looking. And with Five of Cups, we might think of of grief, we may think of losing something that was important to us or having the course of our life changed in some way and, and either you're in a grieving process or you just can't let go of that feeling. For some, perhaps it's, it's deep despair. For others, it's an inability to move off that place because as you can see, this person is looking at what has fallen out of the cup, what is no longer able to be put back into the cup. And so you're, you're tethered or you're just stuck on the sense of lack, the sense of loss. Behind this person are the two cups, and it goes to perspective. It's that, yes, we all have moments where we have grief, where we lose something, of great emotional value to us and we suffer. And some suffer silently and some, uh, you know, maybe get angry. Well, we have to, you know, acknowledge that that happens. Yes, I'm, you know, uh, my relationship has broken up. I wish that it hadn't, but things have changed and you may be longing for that. What we have to reset is our thinking and you know, you hear me talk about it all the time, how important our thoughts direct everything within our life. And this Five of Cups is really focus on what you do have. It's the sense of gratitude. That if you are in great health, that's the best news of all. Because from a position of good health, you can create the magic. You can create what you want to do. So this idea here of you know, acknowledge the loss, sit with it, you know, cry over it, journal, write a novel maybe that you get back at your ex or something, you know, I don't know, but don't live there. Get out of the, you know, move out of that room and think about what is still a part of you that it's really positive, that is, that is good, that can help you move into a better direction. So, Eight of Swords, you see the woman here blindfolded, and in this illustration, you see the swords surrounding them. In a traditional deck, you would get a sense more of her feet, and, and the one thing that, that always strikes you about the Eight of Swords, which is it's like this self-imposed jail that, you're, that you've bound yourself into and blindfolded. You can wiggle out of those binds. You can, after you wiggle out, you can strip off that blindfold but there's a sense here of Eight of Swords of really being stuck in your own way uh, and um, maybe feeling down and uh, feeling that you're not getting the support that you need from your family or your friends or that you feel that the world is against you. So I don't know that I would go as far as to say it's the pity, pity me card, but it's a sense of restriction, of feeling bound, of not being able to get what you want. And it's often we don't get what we want because we are standing in the way. We aren't um, fighting for dear life to get out of this, to do whatever we have to do to get out of a place where we feel stuck, where we feel that our energy is being thwarted or zapped by someone else, or perhaps it's just self-directed. So the great news about this spread, it's really my favorite card, it's the star card. And the beautiful woman here with the blonde, with the blonde hair and the, 
the stars are shining above and she's got, uh, you know, her two hands of balance there with water, with earth, with beauty. And the star follows the tower in the major arcana. And it's often, it's the one thing that it, I think it's the, it's the most important message of all, which is to have faith and to have optimism and to feel the love for yourself, to feel the love for others, but to not lose hope. When you lose hope, that's tough. But to have hope for yourself and to have hope that the universe is going to put you into the places where you should be. And that yes, there are gonna be bumps along the road. There are going to be disappointments. There's going to be sadness. You know, we lose people. We have to rebound. We have to recover, recover from that. But when you think about, you know, as we, we follow the stars. We dream big. And to be the star within, you know, your own life is to accept and to identify with these two cups of seeing the optimistic um, part of life. Now, you know, it's easier for some versus, you know, others. And some people are just um, more attuned to that and others have to work hard and to get into that mindset. But it is possible for all people to think about the universe has my heart in its hands and my life and I have to trust that. I have to trust that things uh, will be as I hope to, to have them. But you have to see it, you have to live it, you have to feel it, you have to believe it. But mostly you have to have the hope. And so uh, the star is such a powerful card and it's such a um, beautiful energy to have particularly when we have difficult or challenging ideas here with the Five of Cups, with the Eight of Swords. So let's choose an Oracle card. Let's see what we have. quiet times. So <laughs> we've had a lot of quiet times for some of us. And I, as I think, I, as I've said before, <laughs> I like to have more noisy times. I like to have more collaborative times. I like to have the feel the energy of the streets and of schools and of shopping malls or places to eat. So quiet times may be the reflection that we need in order to help us put these type of moments, mo um, moments in perspective. Quiet times can, can refer to meditating, maybe just playing your guitar or playing piano or therapeutically cooking and, and finding whatever speaks to you in order to build the reset and to maybe give yourself a place, a better place to, to come from, if that makes sense. So that's what I see for the week. And I hope that you found something helpful here. If you did, go ahead and like it. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. As always, I thank you. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.